So before we will proceed to our new lesson, let's have first a drill about the terms used in weather disturbances. Okay, then I have uh, may I have a bulletin one from the boy and one from the girl. Okay, okay, very good. Oh, don't, don't, the, uh, the boy will be there and the girl will be here. Now, if you if you want to answer, just raise your right hand if you know the answer. Then you give the correct answer. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so in a count of three, you are going, you are going to say go. When cold air sinks, it results to blank. I want high pressure area. Okay, step forward. Next, warm air arises. Low pressure area. Very good. Now, what do you mean by car? Philippine area of responsibility. Okay, very good. Oh, what happened, Anjin? Okay, what about KPH? Oh. Okay, very good. Now, it is the belt of low pressure area. Oh, don't What's the answer? ITCC. Oh, what do you mean ITCC? Okay, now this is the agency. Oh, this is the agency that determines the strength of a typhoon. Oh, what do you mean? Okay, come forward. Who is the winner? Ivan. Okay, let's give five plus to Ivan. One, two, three, thank you. Thank you for answering. Okay, now, last meeting we discussed about typhoon signals. There are four typhoon signals. Signal number one. What is the wind speed of signal number one? The wind speed will be 30 to 60 kilometers. Okay, 30 to 60 kilometers per hour. It is to add within how many hours? 36 hours. 36 hours. What about signal number 2? Okay, 61 to 120 kilometers per hour. What about the, the, the hours expected? 24 hours. 24 hours. What about signal number 3? What is the wind speed? 121 to 120. 121 to 170 kilometers per hour. What about the hours? 18 hours. 18 hours. What about the signal number 4? 171 to 200. Okay, 171 to 220. 20. And it is expected within 12 hours. 12 hours. Okay, so don't forget that signal number 1 because that signal number 1, all the typhoon signals because it is very important now this time have you experienced a typhoon in your place or in our community you know what is a typhoon yes oh have you experienced a typhoon in our community yes, yes. now what did you do when there's a typhoon coming oh city god when there's a typhoon coming then what we will do stay, stay. where we stay stay, stay in Stay and girls, what else? When the typhoon is coming, not yet, but not yet. What's it? Typhoon, coming with typhoon. Oh, you back with. So, we need to say, you are always ready when there's a typhoon coming. Now, why is it important for us to be ready all the time? Honey, to be safe. To be safe. Very good. Let us come friends for honey. Okay. So for us to be safe, let us be aware, let us be always ready when there is a typhoon or any calamities coming in our community. So that's why this afternoon, we are going to discuss the precautionary measures before, during, and after a typhoon. Okay, so before we proceed to our discussion, I have here first a video presentation for you. So I want you to pay attention to the video because afterwards, you are going to answer it according to what you have said. So you are going to group your...
ourselves. Afterwards, after saying that, we just so pay attention. Okay?
Eleven minutes. Nine minutes left. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's give Limang Magsap or Wishy Club for 
from here. Do you know what this will be? She? Yeah. yeah. Listen. One, two, three, four, five. Wishy. Okay, let's start. Okay, so what about group two? Good morning, everyone. My name is Ida Pitsu. Reporting from group two. After you, my bond. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ida Pitsu. Reporting from group two. Okay. During a typhoon, stay indoors. Avoid cruising rivers or yes, rivers strong. Stay calm. Wear thick clothes to keep yourself warm. Avoid under a tree. Avoid yourself in a boat or any bodies of water. Okay, then let's give Ivan a limang bagsa, a lim five gloves, and five bagsa. Okay, start. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, what about group three? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ajin Mi M. Larry, reporting from group three. Boil the water to avoid get sick. Avoid wires that have fallen. Avoid roads along mountain sides. After the typhoon, watch out for how you like live wires. Share food, clothing, and medicines with the people affected by the typhoon. Okay, let's give Barangay Club for Aljen. So what is Barangay Club? Samba Kaino. Okay, start. Why? Because maybe the trees will be falling or the branches. 
water. Siyempre, do not go in anybody's water if there's a typhoon because the rivers, the seas will be rough. No? Okay. What about in during after a typhoon? At after a typhoon, after a typhoon. Okay. So ask an electrician to check the electric wires that were stuck in flood water. Okay. Check the damaged part of your house and have them repaired while you're drinking water. Okay. Boil water to avoid gas. Sick. Then, ensure the safety of our family members. Help the victims of calamities by giving donations or being a volunteer in relief. Goods. All that are cheerful. No? Then, watch out for the hanging live wires. Why is it that we should watch out? Yes, very good. So that the current will not come on us. Avoid roads along mountain sides. Maybe why is it that we should avoid the roads along mountain sides? Because there's a tendency that there's a large light. Then avoid wires that have fallen. Okay, now why is it important? to know the precautionary measures before doing an after a typhoon. Why? Honey? To become safe? What else? Ivan? What else? Aside from to become safe. What else? Top others. Ajin? To be prepared. To be prepared. What else? I want. What else? You can give another answer. You can share your answers. Okay, share. You take it. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it that we should be prepared or know the things or know the precautionary measures of the typhoon? Another. Oh, it's Irene. My name is Irene. It's Irene. Give your answer, Irene. Well done. Be prepared and. We will know what? We will know what happened about, or we will know what to. Do because we are already informed. We are we have already knowledge about the precautionary measures. I mean, the time comes that the typhoon ka, the typhoon uh, come and now to our in our places or in our community. Dilit na tamang ani. Why? Because we already know the things. We are already prepared because we already informed through the radio or through the television or even in our barangay officials they told us about what to do okay are you enjoying the activity well, yes. yes so did everybody participate in each group yes. yes okay now i have here a situation one of your classmates in grade five did not come to school. Why? You know why? Who can guess? Why? Because all their things and their house are totally damaged by the strong winds and heavy winds that the typhoon used to them. Now, what will you do? That is your classmates. So what you will do, what you are going to do? Oh honey, give them food very good. What else? What else, Ivan? It's your classmate. She cannot come to school anymore. No things, no house, nobody. <laughs> okay, Ivan. Okay, you are going to Give some clothes that are not already used the in-house, but be sure it can be someone born. 
It can be used again, not only not already being used as rugs. Huh? What else? What else? They don't have house anymore. What you are going to do as a grade five pupil or as your classmates? Yeah. Okay. So what do we do? Huh? What do we do, bud? What will what you can help? They don't have house anymore. They don't have all the things that because it's totally damaged. But, you know, what can you, what can you do? Pull a joke? Huh? Oh, well, I should know, now, 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 now. Sige, may nag-sabi na, now, 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 give blood. Huh? Okay, so, because all their things and all their, all their things, that is, as well as their house, you give or you share anything that you can share. If you don't have any in your house, you can help them buy through prayer. Very good. You have to pray for them that the Lord will guide and help them because you can have you don't have nothing to give to them. So by that, by just praying to the God that they, our God will help. Then, then uh, if the others will give, then there's a little more. Then what you will do? Just help in packing the relief goods through what do you call that one? Just like in uh, when the house is transferred to another place, what could, what do you call that one? That is baya nihan. So you join in baya nihan. Okay. So am I understood great five? Yes, yes ma'am. So it's very important to share our Thanks. blessings. If you don't have, just pray for them. Okay, let us have a Yes. Okay. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you like our lesson this afternoon? Yes, yes ma'am. It's enjoyable, no? Even though there are some things that we cannot relate, but still. You are, so na, you are, so na, you are participating, you are listening, what else? You do your very best to participate, so mom is happy for that, okay? No? Now, what are the precautions, what is precautionary measures before doing after a typhoon? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by precautionary measures? Hmm? I want to know precautionary measures. It's all about. It's all about. Kapusok sa bagyo para precautionary measures. Again, sa kasabog precautionary measures. It means that. What to do? It tells us what to do. It tells us. What are the things that we should do before, during, and after a typhoon? Okay, so everybody understood our lesson or understood about our lesson? Yes. So are you ready to answer my my questions? Yes. Are you ready to answer? Yes. Okay, so I have here. A questions here that you are going to answer. So it is from one until one to ten. Okay, just read first the directions, everybody.
going to answer the iron. So, 8 and 9 to 10. So, I will just get this one now. I will just put this later on. Can you read at the back? Can you see at the back? For that one, you exchange your papers with your siblings. Okay, change your papers down. Okay, see you faster. It's okay now. You exchange now. Okay, everybody read number one. Okay, everybody read. Always, Always 
are strong. What is your answer here? Sad face. Sorry, I forgot the strong. Next number nine. He stay indoors all the time. Happy face. And the last one. Strengthen house. Strengthen house post check. Check gutters. Check gutters and roofs. Okay. Then get your put the scores and then pass it to the friend. And then for your assignment. Okay. Okay, for your assignment, let us read first everybody. Enter you some community officials for the revolutionary measure. They post to They post. They post to community people before, during, and after a typhoon. So what you are going to do with your assignments, you are going to interview. How will you be your interview? How will you be your interview? Or you will interview the... Community officials, just like barangay officials, no? Umona sila, you are going to interview. Okay, where's the paper? Okay, 10. Okay, pass your paper, 10. Okay, very good. Clap your hands, we got 10. Clap your hands, everybody clap your hands, we got 10. Okay, 9. Okay, very good.